Hey guys, this is Luc Francaire from Tech Wizard DIY on behalf of Amerijoy.com and today I'm gonna show you how to assemble your Odroid Go. So I already removed all the plastic tab that were holding each part together and make it all displayed here ready to be assembled. So let's begin first the top part uh, as you can see there's a little white thing here but it's just an air pocket on top of the, uh, the, the plastic protector and I don't want to remove it simply because it's gonna last longer like this so take your screen Put the screen like that, drop it in, and the ribbon cable must be on the right side. Oh. This is wrong. You must align it like this. Oh. Snap the screen really slowly and gently until it clicks down behind the retention pins then that's most of it for the screen part. now this one goes here A and B you cannot really mix them up simply because there's little alignment tabs all around it and you cannot put it somewhere else here we go for B for A now start and select close well actually start and select are this side but anyway it's the same part just put it in here now the D-pad rubber pad goes here be sure that the pegs go through the holes so it will not wobble and moves around as you play it and lose contact now the A and B if you look carefully there's one hole bigger than the other so the big hole go down and the smaller one on the top so, here we go now for the PCB part you have all the pads here for the various uh, switches the black screen area take it like this and then goes right over here be super careful once it's in just wiggle it a little to be sure that all the alignment posts are through now about the screws if you look carefully it's super easy to see you have <coughs> each holes here um, with a screw on top is where you must put the screws if you put a screw here well uh, the bottom the back part the back plate will not fit on the unit so pay attention to this as you're assembling your device once the screw touch the PCB don't go farther than a, uh, an eighth of a turn if you go more than uh, more tight than that you're gonna crack the little plastic pegs where the screws goes in they are really small so you must be really gentle with it otherwise you're gonna crack your case or uh, the, the 
on the other side the, the plastic gonna go white and all cloudy it's gonna give a really sad result it's not looking nice at all almost done with the screws one goes here between the battery and speaker port here we go now about the LCD connector uh, you must pull it like this really really slowly until the black part come somewhat loose the screen PFC cable must slide between the black part and the white part of the connector so I'm gonna go in like this and you push it in until you barely see the white line it means that you're correctly inserted once you're in press each side of the connector one by one until it's fully seated here we go now the screen is connected next the battery there's no glue there's nothing it's just a simple 3.7 volt battery pack pay really attention where do you connect it if you connect the battery pack in the speaker connector you're gonna kill your board so be really careful and when you push the connector in it be super kind there we go the right wire the red wire goes next to the battery well, if you try to connect it the other way not only you will kill the connector but if you manage to put the pin in contact with the internal part of the connector you're gonna kill your board pay attention to that the speaker it's just a simple slide and drop in I gotta rotate mine a little bit more so the cable will not be in the way just like this connecting the speaker wire and this part is done now the last piece it's the power switch and as you can see there's two little plastic tabs those plastic tabs must go in contact with the switch itself so you slide it in like this and here we go it's fully seated in place and the two plastic tabs are between the switch so when you move it it's gonna hold the switch tightly now the back panel itself you have a square here that goes on top of the ESP32 your SD card slot here here we go put it on top just like this and pay attention to the speaker you see if I'm putting the screws and pressure on it I'm gonna cut my red wire battery so this is really something that you must check out and avoid I'm gonna try to bend the wire mold it as it doesn't get it in the way so I lifted it and uh, use the cross shaded plastic to push the wire for me and 
There we go. Fully seated. Now, time to put the rest of the screws in. So if you didn't mix up uh, the assigned screws that goes internally, everything should go absolutely fine. And all your screws should be easy to put in. And remember, once it's tight, not more than one eighth of a turn. Otherwise, you're gonna damage your plastic. There we go. Last screw. step put your SD card in the files for the SD card are on the Odroid wiki uh, I'm gonna put the link in the description of everything you need to make the SD card you turn it on and here we go I have all the games that I put in and whoops seems like I didn't put those games and you're ready to play. Mm, let's start with it's here. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit like if you like, hit dislike if you didn't like it, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.